about that case last week, uh, the great uh, the um, Yorkshire Police situation with the young girl and the uh, the angry LGBT ally type. Right, that's not out of the ordinary. There's um, if you go away and look for videos where the police have set about uh, enforcing something absurd and then met resistance. There's probably thousands of them. There might even be 10,000 of them. But that one uh, probably ticked every box, didn't it? Think about it. The only thing, there wasn't a racial element, but there was an element of everything else that's a box to tick. Like women, vulnerable kids, the neurodiverse geniuses, Autism, self-harm, what does and doesn't constitute hate speech. It, it really just ticked every box, didn't it? It was a, a box-ticking exercise, and what did we see? What a box-ticking exercise looks like in real life. <laughs> so it's like you've got people there because of box-ticking who shouldn't be cops. You're in the wrong job. And um, probably hate being cops because being cops is not what they thought it would be. So they're in the wrong job. So they've got no sense of humour and appear to be on sort of high alert and it's safer for them to think of everyone else as being lesser. A real us and them thing going on, isn't there? Well, that's not out of the ordinary what happened. That was just caught on video. And it became big because it ticked all the right PC boxes to get the attention of the reactionary leftists. But all you got to see there was what goes on every day. Nothing new about it. So this time, People have decided they care about what happens to someone. Not usually, but this time they do. Strange. As to a, just this moment in time, it become a kind of useful bat to beat people with. But it'd be no less a good bat to beat people with than it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Why this time? Have they decided to run with it? Where f usually, you know, if you get you get a video where the police have done something like fucked up in someone's house or on someone's doorstep, it might get fifteen thousand views and have been there for five years. Suddenly, it's a thing. Now, I think that the the, the family there's a, there's a thing about the way that the video is edited down and things like that as to where, of course, there's more to this story. Of course there's more. Of course everyone involved in it's full of shit. And trying to save face. Everyone's full of shit. Everyone's lying. So I'm like, yeah, but they've given you enough to show you something absurd. You've seen something absurd now. You've seen something unreasonable that just isn't listening and doesn't care. There was enough to, to know that, and you know, sometimes that's enough to know, isn't it? It's where the police say, you know, we've got body cam video, there's a lot more to this, you know. There'd be a strong likelihood, I think, that if you're dealing with artistic young woman, that might not have been the first thing she said. Maybe we'll hear a tale that she was mouthing off at her for an hour. And then that one thing, it's like um, certain minds think, you know, you, you commit 5,000 crimes and then you get caught on the 5,000 and first crime. And it's like, this is my first offence. I didn't get caught for anything else. This is my first offence. So it's like, um, you've been winding her up for the last couple of hours and now she's decided to do something. So now you've made it about what I just did, which is extremely common when you're dealing with artistic people 
The hypersensitive to to sensitivity to criticism, slights, real or imagined, right? And then that crap that the mother's wrought on that where she's got magical powers as to where when someone projects an emotion onto her, she actually then mirrors it and, and she takes it on. It's like, no, that's bullshit. That, no one's got magical power. We can understand that the air might get a bit thick and there'd be a bit of an atmosphere. But it's like, who brings that with them? The, the likelihood is the full story of it will, te will, will tell a tale of just how insufferable a drunken artistic kid can be. And probably someone pushed to the limit. I just say that the, the mother's unhinged if she thinks her daughter's psychic or has got um, uh, I empathy, emotional sort of superpowers. That ain't a thing. People react to stimuli and those who don't hold themselves account, they call themselves empathic, psychic. You made me feel like that. And there's no way of disproving it, is there? It's a game people play to get away with doing fucked up things is to play the mystic card. Well, mummy plays the mystic card. So I'm like, this is a, a, just a fucked story. This is a this is a cunt fight, as I like to call them. It's like, um, you don't have to get involved in this. But know that however it turns out, somebody's going to get the just desserts. However it turns out. And it'd be a matter of uh, no one wins from this, but you know there's there's a fight going on. If you wanna, if you want a bit of entertainment, if that's your thing. But there's a massive to me stench of bullshit coming from the family. But at the same time, we've seen enough to know that the cops haven't handled it very well. They've handled it badly, and it's like we're we're. Um, we're all about the neurodiverse thing, right? If they were all about the neurodiverse thing, and I'll I will be straight up serious about it, I'll tell you what should have happened, right? Once they got wind that that's a house full of crackpots, they should have made they should have said, "Hey, stay out of trouble. See you later. Bye." And then got in the van and said, "Oh, we don't have to go back there. Just be on words for them. That's a house full of crackpots." House full of crackpots. Okay. That's all we need to know. Let's go and get some McDonald's. That's how that should have ended. But no. Them having zero experience at dealing with the neurodiverse meant that they bought into the drama that was available. They, they were able to be gaslit, wound up and react. And it's like, that's not being a copper, is it? That's being a puppet and a fool. So it's to my mind, it's like them cops have been tricked into going off half cock on someone who is just an idiot and won't, is, is, is actually unaccountable in view of the fact that they don't know how to behave. Call it whatever you want. That person doesn't know how to behave. You know, someone like that just as capable of killing someone as someone else. You know, when they murder someone. They don't let them usually get away with saying, oh, well, it's completely unaccountable. But they do anything but murder. Well, they can't be held accountable for their actions. But then when they kill someone, suddenly they're just evil. Oh, just evil. A new category that's completely separate, just evil. Not getting on to... Not, not, I'm actually not casting any you know, bad aspersions on that kid. It's like, it's just like, like we don't know. And neither did the cops. And then that kid's mouthing off to a copper. He, he doesn't realise that she's a dangerous person who can ruin your day. No one knows who anyone is. It's like there's a, an old adage that's in, you know, there's a, there's a version of it in every, every religious text. It's like, goes something like this. Be kind to strangers. entertain them because you know you might be without you knowing it entertaining angels but the other side of that be true too 
It's like, be nice to strangers because you don't know whether or not they're escaped mental patients who will fucking kill you for sport if you give them an excuse. You don't know that. So it's like, there's a case to be said that young artistic girl has fucked with the wrong person with her mouthing off. Regardless of whether she can be held account for her words or not, someone there thought she could. And I'm not, I'm not able to believe that that person, that copper in every minute of every day is that fragile. But there's something unique about the ability of someone who's like a schizophrenic to wind someone up if you're not used to that kind of disturbing behaviour. So, drunken, artistic, learning, disabled, all nature victimhood girl whose mother thinks she's psychic would strike me as being uh, the worst way of spending an evening or afternoon. Like sitting in a car with someone who keeps saying, guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what, endless gotcha. I think that's in this story, it's in the mix. But what we've seen makes the cops look bad and can correctly be seen as a piece of still life of the police in motion. They've completely fucked that situation up. If they knew how much hard work they were just about to unleash and all the shit that they were going to let spew out onto the whole world of the internet, right? They'd have just done what they should have done, what cops would normally do, and just wrote the address down in the book and put nutters and gone home. How have they allowed themselves to be provoked? You know, a, a, a stupid false arrest for some people who seek attention would be the best possible thing that could happen to them. You know, so myself and my like, guy just a bit of YouTube, 3,500 subscribers. If the cops came and arrested me for something plainly absurd that I could easily beat, in both the court of public opinion and the law courts, don't you think that'd be a, 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 just a, the, the best thing that could happen to me? It'd be an easy win, wouldn't it? And it's like... Um, easy wins like that to be able to, to to end up with one it's like what that demonstrates is that I, 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 I can demonstrate to you that, that the police are ridiculous and gullible and stupid I'll trick them into coming to get me and then it'll be absurd the police don't usually dish out victories like that to people they're not so stupid they're not so easy to um, use or manipulate in that way but they are now the gullible and can be wound up and triggered and it's like so now you've shown them that what's happened well um, 4chan idiots I, I, you know my browsers won't let me none of my browsers I think it's my internet service provider will not let me go on 4chan I can't get on it I've tried three different browsers to go on 4chan and it won't let me. So much for talk talk. They're not interested in, you know, the sharing of ideas. Can I get on? But I got sent screenshots of people who were having a great big laugh at the expense of Yorkshire police by uh, getting onto them, uh, reporting spurious crimes. And making, and having them actually have to take it seriously in every case. Someone called me an F. I want you to arrest them. Okay, where are you? Where does this person live? What's the name? And they have to take it seriously. It's their job. It's, it's in the rules over and above them. Do you think they like it? I can't think of a worse job now than that, be that PC police guy. Imagine me doing it. I can see what right and wrong is right in front of my face and I've really an idea that, you know, 
people are not always on the level. If it seems sus, it's probably not fucking real. The shit people say to get others in trouble or to get attention, there's no limit to it. And I know this, so I'm having a, a right old listen. Got an instinct for it. I'm like, eh? Raise the eyebrow. Like, you don't have to say anything, you just have to go. And they know what you said. Really? You have to do better than that. It's like, imagine being like that, in that way, inquisitive and not so trusty. And being a cop, and it's like, well, the rules say you have to believe her and take this seriously. Really? I have to join someone else's delusion and then pretend as if it's real. Yes, you do, because it's your job. I couldn't do that. I, I wouldn't be able to function. And I'd have my doubts about those who could. You've got to listen to this story and you've got to entertain it as opposed to be critical. But hey, you know, if it's uh, if it's a bit touchy and a bad arrest and, you, you know, somebody of name or somebody who means something might be in trouble, you can be as fucking critical as you like. But along these lines and rules, when we're talking about the old box ticking, we've decided what everyone is and we've put them all in a box and it um, doesn't fit the profile for these people to be fucking bullshitting vindictive people doesn't fit the profile we don't know what neurodiversity is because we're listening to Stonewall who are telling us what it is and they are um, they're, they're, they're very likely to say that um, the, 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 the crippling and destructive mental illness that's uh, got a grip on this country is something like racism or homophobia as opposed to you got to look out for people who will tell you who tell who are so ruthless they will tell any lie to stay out of trouble you've got to be sat there willing to ask them to retell their story over and over and over again and write it down and then go back to them with all the changes in the story as to say right start again you've got to be able to do that instead you've got to sweat them But no, you tell the cops the right story about someone and we know what the right story is and they'll be on it. They'll be on you. Tell them the right story. The bastard. On you. Tick the right boxes in play. You've seen how they operate and you see now, now how gullible they are or can be and how easy to trigger because that's the lesson you get from that tale. It's a CF. No one's telling the truth. And the body cam footage will show a sorrier affair that proves everyone pathetic. Everyone. If them cops had any sense, they'd have just gone, yeah, forget it, let's get out of here. Stay out of trouble. And think and feel whatever they want. Keep it to themselves till they get in the back of the van and say, uh, well, they're all fucking nutters, aren't they? Yep. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yep. And just drive away. See, that there would be good police work. We paid for that fiasco. We paid for that waste of time in our taxes, council tax. We paid for that fiasco. And there's going to be another fiasco, and we're going to pay for that too. It's going to come out of some budget somewhere. 